It's Dove. Are you there? There you hey. are. Dove, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So first, I met Dove. Um, let me explain, Dove, real quick, how I actually met you. Because I didn't physically meet you the first time. You were on my radio show, Business Rockstars. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you and I just had a, a, a bond, a connection. And you're one of these guys that is so intelligent, you forget to filter what you say. That's true. Yeah, I know. It happens. I know. And you, you say it, you say what you mean, and you're loyal to what you say. But you're also very loyal to your team. Uh, American Apparel was your first love, and you did whatever you could to keep that thing alive, but you had shareholders and boards that didn't agree with your vision. My shareholders agreed my vision. The board didn't. The board didn't, but there was a reason why they didn't. It was an underhanded, illegal heist of a company they wanted to sell it from underneath me, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Today. I know that, but I mean, but I, I did have you, got screwed. you got screwed, but you decided, Hey, I'm not going to sit back. I'm going to reinvent myself. You went off and you created uh, the new company. What's the new company called? Los Angeles apparel. We've been doing it now for a few years, three, four years. It's a company. It's we generate EBITDA net positive income. It's a real company, and we're kicking, kicking it, and growing, and the company's profitable. It's going to continue to exist and live beyond and above what American Apparel ever was. I'm not even thinking about the past, but right now, pivoting, we're hiring people, transforming the factory into a mask operation. And I've been researching this night and day, and I've been doing this for about four weeks now. Uh, we're working directly with the government. We have orders with FEMA. We have we've donated and or sold to uh, mass few hospitals all over the country. Mostly donated on the hospital side, although many hospitals also paid for the mass. And we're selling mass online, and we're part of this movement. Just basically, mass for all. That's the really real important thing is that everyone. Even me, I feel badly not wearing my mask right now, although no one is within 10 feet of me. Um, you have to wear a mask when you get out. Basically, what we're selling, what this is about is a face diaper. Yeah. It's a face diaper. Because when I wear it, I'm not going to spit on you. It's a protection to the other people you're with. Also, if they say, in, in France, they say three feet distance, in the United States, six, six feet distance. In Canada, it's, 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 it's six and a half, two meters. France, one meter, whatever. If, 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 one, if staying away from other people helps, certainly covering your face helps. The yeah. CDC has already said textile masks work. They're not, they're not as good as N95s. You can't wear an N95 all day. You can't breathe through them. They're toxic. You can't wear them all day. You could sleep in a textile mask. You could relax with friends in a textile mask. I'm not saying you, social distancing is important. This, it's this plus social distancing. And I sent you a graph, which you might want to pop up on the screen. I texted you, if you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. But basically, the conclusion of the graph is that, um, um, the conclusion of the graph is that Countries that had masks after they had 100 cases, countries that wore masks, countries like Japan or countries like Hong Kong or Singapore, whatever, there they didn't have they didn't have the curve. So why would um, why would you not want to wear masks? You don't have to wear my mask. You can wear a scarf over your face. You can wear an N95. You know you can wear any face cover you want, but you have to wear these masks Without right doubt. now. You convinced us. Yeah. I want to talk about a couple other things real quick, and that is you made this pivot, and in the process of making this pivot, you've kept all your employees. Oh, well, we didn't just keep our employees. One, one employee just yesterday, he's over 75. We, he's going to take two weeks off. That's not a problem. We've kept 100% of our employees. We went into 70 hours per week mode. 
80 hours per week, night and day. We bought $750,000 of machines. We have taken additional space. We are hiring hundreds of people. We are going in the mass business hard. We are practicing social distancing, making sure every machine is, you know, six feet apart, um, you know, cleaning. Everybody has to wear a mask on site. And we check everybody's temperature, of course, several times a day. You actually changed um, the way people check in. You uh, went to biometrics, right? Biometrics, meaning the machine to check. Yeah, the you to, you, when people check in now, it's facial recognition, biometrics. making. Oh, sure we did that too. Yeah, the, the face recognition hand clock. We just installed those yesterday to avoid touching the thing. So we're doing everything we can to kind of get our stuff together because we really don't want um, anybody getting infected here, although it could happen. We're prepared for it to happen, um, but we're trying to avoid it at all costs. And so we're producing these masks. We're producing them right now. We'll be producing them tonight. We'll be producing them tomorrow. Around. Hey, good. Dub, show us around real quick. Okay, no problem. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so. Uh, turn it wide, turn it wide. Turn it sideways. Here we go. So. Here is basically the mask. Here we're preparing the elastics for behind the head. Um, this here is uh, that we're putting on the wire on the top so you can mold, mold the mask to your nose. Um, here's where they're, they're kind of sewing. They're sewing the, um, uh, the straps on. Um, here's another, here he's, he's, we ruch, um, hang on, let me get this back. We ruch the bottom and we ruch the top so it fits on the face well. That's very important. Uh, so here, here's someone putting on the binding. We have different colors we're making. If you go over here, this is another color combo. Wow. And it's happening all day. Dove, I love it. How can we help you out with what you're doing, Dove? Uh, okay. If you know an organization that needs masks, like every company needs masks, you can buy them for me, resell them, you can print them. If there's an organization that's a 5013C or they need them donated. You can contact me. The way to get me is text me, 213-923-7943. We will Uber out anywhere, overnight UPS masks. Here, this is a great color combo, just to show you a funny thing. Here, this is the- uh, The Lakers. Yeah, we got all kinds of crazy stuff we're doing. Um, it's, we have many multiple prices. We sell them three for, three for 30 online to consumers. That helps us because, you know, we need to make, we make a little bit of money there, but we also have given most of them away. So we have, one of our price points is zero. The, the problem is there's some very wealthy hospitals. They have a lot of money, but they can't gain the courage to buy the mask because they're not sure. One says yes, one says no. They have a whole bunch of different reasons why they should. So sometimes I just send them to the hospital. Maybe they'll buy the next time. I get I got calls from hospitals in New Jersey today. We're going to be on Monday. We'll be in Monday in you know in Seattle. Wherever we get calls, even internationally, uh, we're sending masks to Canada. I mean, it's we're we're in the mask business. We also have a mask we're making for FEMA. Um, that's an unlimited order. It's a different mask. It's FDA approved. It's actually cheaper to make than this one. This one's a little bit, this one's a better mask than the FEMA mask, although it's not FDA approved, but I'm learning a lot doing the FEMA mask. I'm doing both some for the government, but their spec, and then I'm doing my own spec. So there's a, a ton of ways. It's amazing. So if they can text you, uh, we'll right now, if you go inside the chat, there's Dub's number. That's his direct phone number, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dub, I text really is that. Text is better. It's right away. Of course, you can call me. You might know. Like, and if you own a business, don't waste your time. 
if you have a supermarket chain or a restaurant where you're serving people the window, coffee house, an essential business that's open, don't be crazy. Get the pe- they need two masks each. You know, you can wash them. They're reusable. Right. Wash them in hot water. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I want to thank right. you for making time for us, buddy. Dove, thank you so I much. Take what? care, everyone at Metal. Wear your mask. All right, Dove Charney, thank you very much.